Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today I'm sharing my family recipe for crunchy dill pickles. These are quick pickles that require no canning and ready in just three days. I make these every year when cucumbers are in season and they're so satisfying to eat and they're super crunchy too. We begin the recipe with a trip to my kitchen garden. And don't worry if you don't have the same ingredients, I will give you easy substitutions as we go along. Here I'm picking dill flowers, which are the top part of the dill herb, which contains dill seeds and has a very strong dill flavor. The dill flowers are probably the most important ingredient in this recipe. They are what gives the pickles that distinctive dill flavor. And if you don't have dill flowers, you could still get the same flavor by combining regular dill with store-bought dill seeds. They sell them usually in the spice aisle. Next, we need horseradish leaves, grape leaves, and they are really the secret to a perfectly crispy cucumber. Both leaves contain a compound called tannin, which will prevent the cucumber cells from breaking down and thus keeping the cucumbers crisp. You don't need the same exact leaves as I'm using. You could use any of these leaves in your recipe. If you're using oak leaves, just beware, they have a higher tannin content, so use less of them. Ideally, I like to use small pickling cucumbers and just cut off the ends, but this year I have too many giant cucumbers, so I will slice them into spears and they will work great too. I washed my cucumbers and leaves thoroughly to make sure there is no dirt left from the garden. I have cleaned and sanitized my jars by pouring boiling water over them in the sink. Uh, now let's start filling them up. I will add my leaves on the top and bottom. This will ensure that we get a perfectly crispy pickle. We really don't want to end up with mushy pickles. I love using horseradish leaves in this recipe and not only for their crisping properties. They have a spicy flavor similar to the horseradish root, so if you don't have these leaves, you may want to add a half a teaspoon of horseradish to get the same flavor. Follow up with three large garlic cloves cut in half. I'm adding a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, but this is optional. I know not everybody likes their pickles spicy. Let's add in our dill flour. And now we're ready to put in our cucumbers. Hold them upright and try to squeeze in as many as you can fit in. Now we'll finish it off by adding some more garlic, dill stalks, which also have a lot of flavor in them, So now I'll add, just like on the bottom, one horseradish leaf and one grape leaf. We've been making these dill pickles in my family for generations. I remember when I was little, my grandmother always had two big barrels in her underground cellar. One was filled with cucumber pickles and the other one was pickled apples. Have you ever tried a pickled apple? The jars are fully stuffed and it's time to make our salt brine. For salt brine, you will have to do some basic math. For each liter of boiled water, you will need two tablespoons of coarse salt and one teaspoon of sugar. Don't worry, I will have all the conversions and the full recipe under the video. Since I have made this recipe before, I know that I need 1.5 liters of brine, but if this is your first time making this recipe, Make a little more liquid than you think you will need, so you will have enough to fill the jars. Now pour the liquid in super carefully. Use a spout if you have one. Cover the jars with a lid, but leave a small opening for heat to escape. Now leave them overnight on the counter. In the morning, close the lids all the way, and now they go into the refrigerator for two to three days. On day three, they will be perfectly crunchy and flavorful. After that, they keep in the refrigerator for up to two months. Hope you give this recipe a try, and thank you so much for watching. 